Welcome everybody to another video tutorial for Calpeats and this time we will have a closer look at the advanced query tool. We had a great question coming in from Catherine Quist the other day asking um, about how can I get 2018 inspections with the open carp um, attached as, a, as an active ingredient. And so the answer for those complex questions is generally the advanced query tool that you actually um, need a training session in order to use it because it's fairly complex. But the basics um, I'll, I'll describe here in this, in this tutorial. So unfortunately, Calpeats does not know the connection between active ingredients and products itself because that, that is part of, of Calic permits. So you, you have to find the answer in an indirect way, a query for inspections that contain certain products. Um, in our case here, we, we know that um, Bolero and um, Abolish is, are, are the main products for, for that active ingredient. So we are able to query for all the inspections that contain those products. So let me start and explain how to get the answer to that question. Let's get started. On the dashboard for Calpeats, you see on the top the main menu. And under Reports, when you expand that menu, you see the second menu item, Advanced Query Tool. This is what we want. Click on that and open up the UI for the Advanced Query Builder. The first thing, we'll select the main starting table and we select Inspections, which then lists under the tables. Clicking on that exposes all the different um, fields that are available for inspections. Let's check inspection number and inspection date because we want to query for all different um, for the 2018 inspections. And from there, we also need the products. So let's inspection products. Let's select that. And let's select the product itself, the product name. At the bottom of the screen, you see the raw SQL code, which is basically the, the code, the SQL code that is being generated by the tool. And I'll explain that where, where that becomes important later. So now to add a filter criteria, because let's let's start with the inspection date. So let's find out all the inspections that are in 2018. Select the date greater or equal to 2018, January 1st. And we add a filter because we now want the upper border, which is the inspection date and is less or equal to December 31st of 2018. That gives us all the inspections in between um, or for the year 2018. Let's run that query real quick and scrolling down we see there are 10,000 um, inspections in the in the year 2018 and we actually cut that off at 10,000 not to overload that um, the system so now we of course have to include the county number to drill down to Butte County let's select that and add another filter to it and this time we want and the County number is equal to four, and we click away and we see the raw SQL, and now we 
nailed down 505 inspections that have been um, done for Butte County in 2018. So let's now work on the uh, products. So let's add another filter group and we want those end um, connected and let's select the product and we want to use Bolero but it's not equal to it's that uh, there are different products that, that have that name Bolero in there so we want a contains Bolero you see down there the raw SQL has that um, SQL statement in there so now if we run that query so there are 15 inspections for Butte County in 2018 that contains the product Bolero. Let's do add an OR filter to it. Just want either Bolero or Abolish. Let's add another product contains Abolish. If you remove the cursor out of that field, the SQL updates Let's run the query and now we have 27 inspections for Butte County in 2018 that contains either of those products. We are able to export um, this query into Excel and then can do further analysis within Excel and if you like that query you can even save that query and then you can um, Save that for for um, for later, so you can um, run it over and over again. Now let's call that inspections with. Uh, let's call this with a certain or specific product, and then you can load that um, query and you can change the product name to your to your question, and then have that query handy for you. Note that query, select it, and then it, it loads um, all your work into into the screen. You can you can change the um, query or fine tune the query. And yeah, that's um, pretty much it. the The one thing, if you have a question, um, send us send us the the raw SQL code because that that helps us um, to actually troubleshoot and help you. Um, if you have, if you doubt that that is actually the right um, result that you're getting, so we can troubleshoot it with you. And that is a quick intro, intro into the uh, advanced query tool. Really, really powerful tool. Um, and yeah, I give it a shot and uh, let us know what you think about it.